Hello, good evening, my dear students. So I want to be clear about uh, the instructions on step number two of your ICT project for social change. Step number two is visualize. So you're already done with step number one, which is identified. So essentially, you already have um, an idea about uh, what type of social campaign, what's the nature of your social campaign. Are you going to do uh, you are going to do at the end of the semester. So in this step, I would like you to uh, imagine more what would what would be the looks of your website, for example, by by uh, exploring other campaign sites online. Kung baga, kuhan na natin sila ng inspirasyon. Ano ba yung dapat maging itsura? Ano ba yung dapat nakalagay? Paano ba dapat nakaporma o nakaayos? yung aking website para siya ay maging successful o magkaroon siya ng mataas na um, audience uh, engagement. Ano po? So, in step to visualize, you will have to go to this site, adcouncil.org, and then if you go here using this link, makakapili ka doon or makakakita ka doon ng several campaign sites. So, whatever your interest is, yun ang, yun ang puntahan mo. Okay? Um, choose only one campaign site that you want to explore. And then after exploring it, you have four questions that you will answer. So this is an individual output, okay? You have to put your answers in your uh, notebooks. So the first question is, what is the message or advocacy of the site? How is this communicated through the use of the website or by the website? Dapat nung nag-explore ka ng website nila, nakuha mo yung mensahe ng kanilang advokasya. So, if you were able to understand their message, that means naging successful yung kanilang website in informing you about their message. So, just in the same way, your your future website should be able to do the same. Dapat when, when people, when visitors step in the website, agad-agad nilang makukuha yung gusto mong gawin, yung plano mo, yung iyong, yung iyong advocacy and what you plan to do. Second, who do you think is the target audience of the site? How is the site helpful to the target audience? So just by uh, exploring the website, sino sa tingin mo yung kanilang target audience? Kanin, kanino nila binibigay yung information para kanino yung campaign? How are they helping? How are they helping their audience? Dapat na-identify din po natin iyon. So, dapat may purpose yung campaign. Nakakatulong siya sa iba. And paano niya yung ginagawa through the website? Number three, this is talking about the design of the website. Can you easily navigate through the site? Did you enjoy exploring it? And bakit? Um, was the navigation, was, was the going around the site easy for you to do? Or ikaw ay na-overwhelmed because of the number of buttons that you have to click? Were you were you lost? Were you confused while exploring the website? Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy exploring the website? And then try to give some reasons kung bakit. Okay sa'yo yung kanilang layout. Number four, how did the campaign persuade or convince you and others to help and participate? So remember in our discussion, we don't want, we seem, uh, we don't want, um, that our campaign ay mananatili in the online world. We want to convince others, our audience, to have the corresponding in-person action para magkaroon ng tunay na pagbabago ano po? In, in society, the change that we want. Okay, so I am now at um, adcouncil.org all campaigns slash all campaigns. So you can see here several uh, campaign campaign sites. So there's a campaign uh, for raising awareness about Alzheimer's. There's a campaign about uh, safe driving. There's a campaign, several campaigns about COVID. Ayan, another one, another one about driving. Ending hunger. That's another one. Gun safety. We have a campaign about that. 
But I want to give an example by going in this in this campaign site, high blood pressure control. So if I click through this one, I will be led to this uh this uh window. So high blood pressure control. So bibigyan ka muna ng description ng campaign. Ano? So nearly half of all American adults have high blood pressure. Yet only about one in four individuals have their condition under check. Uh, one over four. Oh. Because of the pandemic and persisting health inequities, there is an exacerbated high blood pressure impact on communities of color, particularly for Black, Hispanic, Latin, and Native American adults. The Get Down With Your Blood Pressure campaign teaches adults that self-monitoring their blood pressure is as easy as four simple steps. Get it, slip it, cough it, check it. Along with talking to your healthcare provider on a blood pressure management plan, taking these steps can decrease the incidence of stroke, heart attack, and heart failure. Okay, so just basing on the description, uh, what you want to, what the site want to do is to to campaign or to advocate for controlling no, of the blood pressure because if if you don't control your blood pressure, there are several complications that you can experience like stroke, heart attack, and heart failure pala. Ano po? And this is very relevant in the community, in the American community kasi madami sa kanila pala yung siguro mga high blood or have heart problems. So the sponsor is American Heart Association. So although you read the, the description, dapat it is apparent in the campaign site itself kung ano yung gustong gawin ng, ng, ano, ng website. Ano po? So after you read the the campaign description, you go you click this one, visit the campaign site. So if you click this one, you will be led here in in their campaign site. So this is the look of their site. Okay? So you can see that it, it's quite a minimalist. Ano po? So the, the the main color is white. It looks clean and simple. And then there are there are red buttons, there are red text, the logo is red. So they're trying to maintain the color scheme of red and white. So paggamit ng contrasting colors, no, because because they use the white background, nag pop up talaga yung kulay pula. So they use the red on the buttons so you can easily see or notice the colors or the buttons rather. Heart attack and stroke symptoms. So dito siguro gusto niyang check mo to itong tab na to para ma-verify mo if if you have if you are experiencing problems due to high blood pressure. And then right from the get go you can see in 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 big text yung kanilang pangalan na kanilang campaign. Get down with your blood pressure. Get down with your blood pressure. So it's not direct to the point. It's creative. There, there's a use of there, there's a play of words. Hindi hindi direct ang uh, control your blood pressure. That that wasn't that's not the name of the campaign. The name was get down with your blood pressure. Get down. Get down to business. Diba? that's an idiomatic expression. When you say get down to business, you want you want uh the person you're talking to to be serious about something about that particular business. So when you read when you read their campaign site, ah, parang ganun yung sinasabi nila. Get down to business. Get down to business. Be serious about your blood pressure. Monitor your blood pressure. Get down, down using the word down, parang implying that um you have to lower down your high blood pressure to avoid the complications. Ano po? That's how you should name your campaign. That's how you should name your campaign. So take inspiration in this campaign. After that, scrolling downwards the site. Oh, you can see this one. This is their this is the first message that you will see from them. High blood pressure affects millions of us. Check it every day. Talk to your date doctor and follow your beat. Monitoring is power. So right from the get-go, you can already see. Itong kung saan yung campaign, uh, self-monitoring pala ito ng blood pressure. Aside from self-monitoring, encouraging you to talk to professional so you can manage your blood pressure. 
sponsored by AMA and AHA, American Heart Association. Aside from the text, you can see a video, a video here. Now, if I click on the video, you know that that's a video kasi may symbol here. You will be directed to YouTube, no? So, ayan. Okay, so you notice the consistency in the color scheme, no? And then self-monitoring, they, they try to simplify it into four easy steps. Get it. Get it. Yung pang BP. Slip it. Diba, ipapasok mo yung sa braso mo. Um, you will uh, Velcro that sa iyong arm. Cuff it. And secure mo siya. And then check it. In, in four easy steps, they were able to summarize paano mag-self-monitor ng blood pressure. So, the video is well-produced then, no? well-made. So, maganda kasi pag yung landing page mo, yung unang may kita yung video because as, as, you, as you have experience, di ba, um, captivating yung, ano, yung mga videos. So, if you try to scroll down, you can see another another block. Now this is talking more talking more about self monitoring your blood pressure. So you can take control and keep your blood pressure in a healthier range. Always follow the advice of your healthcare professional. Now there's another video, but we won't watch that. Aside from the video, they also provided some resources in PDF. If I click through the PDF, ito yung makita ko. How to measure your blood pressure at home? Oh, ayan. Giving, even giving more information. So, step one, prepare. What do you need to avoid? Caffeine, cigarettes, 30 minutes before checking your BP. And then, position. So, here, and number two, yan na yung ano, cough it, slip it, and now check it. So, they try to be detailed about step number two. And number three, you measure. Okay, so they also try to do um, an infographic, ano? Uh, three easy steps on how to get an accurate reading of your blood pressure. So right now, I would like you to realize, ano yung mga dapat natin i-prepare if we want to create uh, a campaign site. So dapat may, maganda ko may video, no? maganda ko may mga infographics, maganda ko may mga resources that we can share to our audience. If we try to scroll even downwards or deeper to sa kanilang campaign site. So not only self-monitoring, they're also encouraging you to go to see your healthcare professional. And block number four, oh yeah. What is the biggest challenge in managing your blood pressure? Depende sa kaso, ano? And then get help depending on their case. That's the last one. These are the sponsor of the campaign site, and then these are some other resources. So it looks very simple, no? Because uh, they, they, they were able to highlight yung kanila mensahe. First block, what, what is the campaign all about? And then there's a video. Second, second block, uh, they want to give you resources on how to self-monitor your BP. Third block, aside from self-monitoring, don't forget to consult your, your doctor. Fourth block, um, even more help, even more resources, depending on your main problem. Aside from that, you can also make some donation on the organization. So if I click here, I will be led into this uh, window. So anong klaseng donation yung gusto mong ibigay? So this is convincing others, maybe maybe the visitor of the site na wala naman problema with their BP or have loved ones that, that died, for example. 
or who are experiencing problems, heart problems due to the blood pressure to make some donations. So these are involvement initiatives and uh, that you can that you can um, do or you can have your visitor participate don't say your website so going back to the questions number one ano yung mensahe ng advocacy ng, ng site so the message was to control your blood pressure by means of self-monitoring and going to your doctor so para magkaroon ka ng uh, blood pressure management plan and it was communicated in several ways through the website number one by means of their campaign campaign name ano po diba? they were very creative with their campaign name number two they, they produce uh, videos to to communicate their campaign name ano po or to communicate their their advocacy the message of their advocacy okay so number two, who do you think is the target audience of the site? So obviously, based on the description of the website, yung among Americans. But in general, uh, people, people with, with heart problems, people with who are not aware, na, uh, na it, it's advisable that everyone should monitor their blood pressure. And uh, people with, with, with family members who are experiencing this, this, this condition, these problems, these health problems. Paano nakatuloy yung site? Um, raising awareness, di ba? About, about blood pressure, the danger of not monitoring your blood pressure, giving resources on how to monitor it, self-monitoring it, um, giving information on, on, on how to reach your doctors, how to talk with your doctor about your blood pressure. Number three, can you easily navigate through the site? Did you enjoy exploring it? Yes, it was easy to navigate through the site. Um, simplistic, minimalistic yung design ng website. They use uh, simple color scheme. Sa paggamit ng pula sa mga buttons, madaling makita ng mga visitor kung saan dapat pumunta, ano ang mga importanting link or buttons to click to explore. And we did enjoy exploring it. Mataas yung ating naging site engagement. Active ang time na spent natin doon sa website. Kasi uh, we were checking videos, we were checking links, we were checking uh, infographics na kanilang pinipare. Ano po? The site doesn't look cluttered. So it's easy for us to navigate. And number four, how did the campaign persuade or convince you and others to help and participate? So number one, it's very engaging. There, there's a video to engage you, to convince you. Um, second, it, it, it's also asking participation by means of donation, of giving donation. Okay? So that's how you will answer uh, the questions for step two, visualize. In, as, as your assignment. So remember, you can select any of this campaign site. Aside, of course, aside from this one, of course, the high blood pressure control. I think you will be um, interested on other, on other, on the other campaign site. Like this one, shelter pet adoption, even diabetes, vaping. Also, also there's a campaign site about prevention, vaping prevention, suicide, Another one about safe driving, and so on. So good luck. Write your answers in your um, notebook. I also prepared a sample output that you can sample output for step to visualize that you can check out in our LMS. Okay. Thank you and good luck, my dear students.